everybody. Welcome back. I've just popped into the workshop just to gather a few items I'm going to need in the morning. So we're going over to the workshop to let in the electrician. He's going to be adding a few more sockets ready for us to move in. Uh, and I'm going to take this opportunity to measure the space in detail so I can start planning where everything's going to go. Uh, we need to plan where we're going to have filtration systems, where we're going to have the lathe and all the other bits of equipment. Uh, I'm going to be sharing all the plans with you. Uh, I'm going to be sharing the dimensions, so if you have a better idea, which is more likely the case, then I'd love to hear it. So that's it. I'll carry on getting our stuff sorted, and I shall see you lot in the morning. All right, so next morning I've just dropped the kids off at school, and I'm heading off to the house. The electrician has dropped me a text this morning, so that's good. He knows the address, and we shall meet him there. I'm a little bit nervous. This is day one of setting up the new workshop. So keeping my fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly. I can't really see what can go wrong, but they are generally the famous last words, aren't they? Right, it's not gonna take as long to get there. This is it. This is our new home. Things to do today. We've got to measure around, get all the details we need. And of course, the electrician will be here soon to fit the extra sockets. So, what do you think? All right, first things first, I'm gonna get all the rubbish out of here and uh, give it a sweep, I think. Shake's done. Okay, so there we go. Power sockets are in. What we have to do now is give this a good measure round and we can figure out exactly where everything's going. I'll just give you a quick guided tour. Okay, so doors in this place. We have a side door that just takes us straight outside. 
that hard standing there, I am going to be putting a nice little shed at some point. This room, very, very important, this room. We have the toilet. Next room is the boiler room. We don't need to worry about that. And this room here, this will go straight through to where I will have my office. So all the editing suite and everything else like that will be in here. Right, back to the workshop. A lot of you will be very happy to see this little thing. It's a radiator. And hopefully this should keep my warm workshop nice and warm in the winter months. So in terms of power sockets we've had fitted, that was the original socket that we had when we came in to the property. And now we have two extra warm units there, two more there, and then around the other side, two here, two more here, and two at the end. Now this end area, I would imagine, is pretty much where uh, my wife's items, my wife's, sorry, the family items that we have to keep inside the workshop. So I would imagine in this area here is going to be the chest freezer, uh, this area where some uh, abandoned plumbing was going on, that is going to be uh, the dryer, the tumble dryer. Uh, and we may need to put a fridge on this wall here. I'm not quite sure yet, but everything else we can use for our work, which is fantastic. Initially, what I'm thinking is, and I'll just close this door so we don't get the bright sun anymore. How fancy is that? I've never had an automatic door closer before. Oh, it's ain't automatic, I'm holding it with my finger. Okay, so this end of the workshop, I'll just put you on here for a second. Okay. What I'm hoping for this area is this is where the main machine is going to go. So the lathe will be around here, uh, and then the tools going on the wall in some way. Now, at the moment, in my workshop, the lathe is against the wall, and that's fine. Uh, it may stay that way. It allows me having more room this side and allow me to get more around the headstock to turn when you've got awkward paces. Uh, but I was also thinking, do I have the lathe coming out this way to allow for filming from the other side, different angles? I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, the lathe is overall about two meters wide, which would bring it out almost all the way across the shop. So I think that may limit what we do on this side. So I think the lathe initially is going to go against the wall. Yeah, there's so many things to think about. Uh, obviously with a workshop this size, uh, the way it consists of the workshop, it's, separate, it's a separate building away from the house. You can see there, a normal garage, which basically means that it's very, very hard for the dust in the atmosphere to get into the house. The only way it gets in there is off my clothing, etc. So with this being part of the building itself, I'm gonna to have to be very, very careful that we don't get too much of the dust through to the house. So what I'm thinking is the area we have here for the main dust making machines, I'm thinking of putting a wall between it with one of those uh, hanging plastic sheet things that you get in freezers, uh, commercial freezers that is, uh, to make sure that dust is stopped going through uh, and also combining that with uh, the, the air scrubbers, which I'm already using. So that's part of what I'm thinking. Now, the best way to do now, I think, is for me to get out my tape measure start measuring the workshop and then see what we can figure out.
Okay. Well, that's all the, the measurements taken. The red car that's parked <laughs> at the front of the garage, I'm not quite sure whose that is. I think it was one of the farm workers uh, or the farmers who uh, are renting this house off. It's uh, <laughs> slightly inconvenient having a car parked there when you're filming, but there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so the next step now is to go home, start drawing up these plans and try and figure out how I'm going to put everything into this space we've got. It's so much more space than I've ever had before, but I'd like to try and make the most of it I can, uh, not just for the equipment I've got, but also for the equipment that I'd like to get hold of. I'd love a pillar drill, uh, I'd love a, uh, a bandsaw, and I'd love a decent uh, bench sander as well. So those things are gonna have to be taken into consideration. I do like the idea of separating the room into slightly different areas to try and keep one cleaner than the other uh, to allow for different type of work I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be taking all that into consideration. Uh, all the measurements and di dimensions of the workshop are going to be in the description below. So if you fancy having a go at helping me out and trying to figure out which way you think uh, you'd like it, to look or which way you would have advised me to put things and if you've got any thoughts whatsoever please leave it in the comments below if you've got a design then nip over to my facebook page uh, as well and uh, you can post those pictures to me there so i would love to see them it's exciting isn't it this is very very different for me i've got a workshop with a radiator and a toilet this is pretty close to living the dream Right, okay. Well, thank you very much indeed for watching. This has been the first look into our new home. And it's exciting and it's brilliant. I really can't wait to get started. We're going to be moving in to the house at the end of February. And I think we're moving into the workshop and bringing the, all the tools across on the uh, the first or second of March. So I can't wait to get started. Right, well, thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the first look at the workshop. Uh, I will try and give you as many updates as I can. But apart from that, thank you very much indeed. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.